Well, my name is Elin Lindström and I'm from Sweden, from the south of Sweden, a town that's called Vetlanda. And now I lived here in Kaladeo for three months. Yeah, it's my first exchange that is so long, but I've been a week before in Bosnia, but then I was with all my class, but now I'm all alone. <laughs> well, it will feel good to come home and to see all the friends again and the family that I really missed a lot, but also it's, it's a bit sad that it's already over because it's been really fun to be here. I think it's been really good. I've learned a lot about the language and a lot about myself also and I met some new friends and so on. This experience I think has been good and that it would have to produce more because well, it's interesting to have friends from other cultures and other countries, whether they are European or international. And well, it has been a good experience. Well, my school is much bigger. It's 1,500 students and it's only Basilrato, so it's really big compared to this one, but on the other hand, this one is like everyone knew each other and it's a good good attitude here. Oh, well, there's a lot of differences and the biggest one I think is the, the weather. <laughs> it's really much warmer here and here it's, it's sun and it's like you don't even need a jacket to go out. Today it's it's uh, 20 degrees under zero in Sweden, so that's a really big difference. But also there's a big difference about the people. You talk a lot more here and you're more open than like, there, you always kiss on the cheek and hugs and so on. And it's a bit more formal in Sweden. We shake, your, shake the hand when we meet someone. And I, I've been experiencing another life here because I live in a, in a really, small like a village here but also it's just 40 minutes to go by the train to Barcelona which is a huge city that's bigger in, than every city we got in Sweden and there's a lot of of different stuff here in eh ens agrada molt que vingues la Eileen perquè és és una cosa positiva conèixer gent d'altres països i no sé, i saber com, com s'adapten a, a qui a nosaltres. Sí, s'adapten molt i a més a més, com que sap parlar castellà, doncs millor, perquè com que no sabem anglès. I've been at the same kind of uh, lessons that I had in Sweden, but now I've been doing them all in Catalan, so it's been a bit hard for me to, to go on with it, so I worked a bit with my Swedish books also, but I've been here in school for every day and I mostly speak uh, Spanish, Castellano, but I've learned a bit Catalan and I, I understand a lot of Catalan also, but I knew a bit, a bit Castellano before I went here, but now I think I speak really, really much better, so it's been really good for me. In the beginning was that I didn't understand it, but on the other hand, I now I had the chance to to learn more, and I think it's it's a beautiful language, and it's it's not as small as I thought before. It's it's much bigger, and and it has more influence on the people. And I think it's really good that they keep the tradition to to keep the the language alive. Uh, L'experiència de aquest tipus de mobilitat entre alumnes europeus és extraordinària. El Bernardo, que és el nostre alumne, el Bernardo Sosa, que ha estat aquests tres mesos a Suècia, doncs jo crec que ho valorarà també molt positiu. Estem satisfets de la presència de Elin, un bon alumne. Thank you. I absolutely enjoyed my time here.